It's 8.30 p.m. on the evening of February 13, 2012. At Sacramento, California's Mather Airport, a CFI and student pilot are preparing to depart on the second leg of a dual night cross country in a Cessna 172. The pilots are aware that runway four right, two two left, the longer of the airport's two parallel runways, is closed due to an earlier landing incident involving an Air Force T-38 trainer. Expecting to depart from the shorter runway, however, they consider it a non-issue. On the ramp, the student calls for a taxi clearance. Mether clearance, Cessna 734 Delta Romeo at Atlantic with uh, Papa v VFR to Sacramento the International. The 734 Delta Romeo, make the ground roger. The wind's 320 at 6. How uh, about runway 22 right? Taxi 22 right, roger. 4 Delta Romeo. So 734 Delta Romeo, roger, runway 22 right via Alpha and squawk 0320. 0320 on the squawk and NorCal will be 127.4. Roger, 32. 03. 127.4. Taxi right, 22 right, Alpha. But the Cessna misses its turn onto the taxiway leading to runway 22 right. It continues on taxiway Alpha, past the end of its assigned runway, and holds short of 22 left at Alpha 1. In the tower, the controller fails to catch the mistake. Mather Tower, Cessna 734 Delta Romeo, Sitting at 22 right, ready for departure. Test 4 Delta Romeo, make the tower, only 22 right, clear for takeoff. Wind 310 at Niner. 22 right, uh, clear for takeoff, 4 Delta Romeo. Mid to tower, mid to 5. Mid to 5, mid to tower. You got an aircraft on TT left? Uh, that's no one. Oh, yes, we do. The Cessna is only 60 feet in the air when it passes the workers and equipment on the side of the runway. Four Delta Romeo, that was the 2 2 right that we were supposed to depart on. Four Delta Romeo. Roger, I don't know how he got past. I'm sorry. Uh, my apologies. That's Four Delta Romeo, Roger. Uh, possible pilot deviation. Just give me a call uh, when you get down at uh, International if you can. Several factors contributed to this incident. First among them was the fact that it happened at night. Not only did the darkness make it easier for the Cessna pilots to lose positional awareness on the airport, but it made the controller less likely to notice their mistake and mask the activity around the disabled T-38. I didn't see him go over there at all. Did you see him do that? I just saw one really bright light and uh, called you as soon as I could. Okay, thanks a lot. Good job. Another factor was the airport layout. Parallel runways always bring the potential for confusion. But in this case, the taxiway configuration made it easy for the pilots, having missed their turn, to bypass the correct runway entirely. The tower's failure to specify the turn onto taxiway Bravo and his clearance may also have contributed to the mistake. So 734 Delta Romeo, Roger Romeo, Tucci right via Alpha and Squawk 0320. Finally, and most critically, there was an issue of distraction and poor oversight on the part of the CFI. After the incident, the instructor stated that he had been head down programming avionics when his student taxied past the assigned runway. Later, he failed to notice the signage that could have tipped him off to the mistake and simply assumed that the lights he saw near the runway, the crew working on the T-38, were normal airport vehicles. Given the student's apparent unease with radio communication and taxi clearances, closer supervision and perhaps better pre-flight preparation would have been appropriate. This case is a prime example of how multiple factors can combine to increase the odds of a runway incursion. It's also a stark reminder of the need for vigilance, 
particularly in low visibility conditions. Had one or two things gone just a bit differently, this incursion could easily have ended with a fatal runway collision. <laughs>